Alright, so today I'm doing a silhouette portrait type of thing um, of Chadwick Boseman. He's one of my favorite actors, I would say, rest in peace. Um, he played Jackie Robinson in the movie 42, and also, of course, the Black Panther, which is one of my favorite superheroes, so just gonna, um, I got the tool all turned up to the maximum setting here. Um, there's not gonna be any different, um, shades or anything, it's just gonna all be as dark as it can go to really get the contrast, because that's the way that this kind of gets its, um, realistic look to it, I guess, is just all the contrast in it. I know it doesn't really, like, look anything like him right now, obviously, but once you get the, um, all the parts filled in, it'll start to come together. Um, I'm actually gonna try to use the Dremel here, um, at some point to try to get some texture in it, um, but I'm just gonna start filling this in. I gotta really try to get this dark because it just won't look right if it's not dark enough. Some of these pieces of wood can give off quite a glare with the light that I have above it. So if you see me tilting like this, it's because I'm trying to see better from the glare. Whenever you do these silhouettes, um, one side will be like a lot more shadowed than the other. It's like half and half. Now to get the, the reference for these, you can either, I mean, there are pictures you can look up on Google, like blank person silhouette or whatever, but for this, I just found a regular picture of them and then just bumped up the contrast a little bit and then drew the shadows on this piece of wood. Now I'm burning it. Pretty much all of this where I'm outlining all inside here will all be burnt as dark as I can make it. Because all of this in here is going to be left alone. So and it's even more important to get really dark um, when doing silhouettes like this because this part, like 
where I'm going to be leaving it blank isn't white like paper would be. So you have to get it real dark in order to get the full contrast that you want or need, I guess. This little piece right here is going to be a highlight, so I'm just going around that. I believe that is in the picture, like his shirt or something, so his collar maybe. Okay, so I actually just messed up a little bit. When I spun it around, I kind of got confused, and this right here is not supposed to be colored in. This, so let's get back to it. This light actually is the glare is being a little crazy. Let's see if that'll be any better. Eh, I'm just gonna make it a shadow. Come over here, maybe. Sometimes when you do these, you don't really um, see the person um, until you do the eyes, to be honest, because the eyes are the most important part. It really just brings the everything together. Even when you're doing really portrait with any medium, that's how it is. The eyes are definitely the most important part and uh, they show expression. Um, they're pretty much the centerpiece, centerpiece of the face, so you really want to get them right. A lot of smoke coming off, I don't know if you can see it. Again, I'm going to try to go in and add a little bit of texture uh, around the beard and uh, the hair. I think I could definitely make it look more realistic. I am going to go through with the Dremel, I think, because um, it'll really brighten up. The little areas inside, like right here, uh, might get lost a little bit because when you're using like the highest setting on the wood burner, um, it can make parts of the wood darker that you aren't even touching just cause it's so hot. So I think it'd be beneficial if I go through and just brighten up the areas that need to be bright.
So here's an example. Um, see how this piece right here, just that little tiny piece, is kind of flared out a little bit. Um, it's not supposed to be. So I would go in with my Dremel and kind of just take that out. I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, I am going to now, wait for this to cool down, I'm going to switch up the tip to a smaller one, so I can get these little details in here. Alright, so I got um, the end changed here, I got this one, for the little details, can go back in. Start over here just with this little piece. Try to add just a little more curve to this eye, so let's bring it up close here. Got to be real precise with it, so. Maybe that looks okay. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, after I get everything done, like I said, I'm going to add a little more texture inside to make it look more like uh, detailed, I guess. Because um, I can hear this whole eyebrow wasn't going to be filled in at the end, but um, I'm just going to do it for now. Because it's easier, with small highlights, it's easier to just go in after and put them instead of trying to like draw them and sketch them makes them look a little more natural but with the big highlights like this one down here that's when you can kind of go around it because it's easier to see just being like see how it's bumpy in here I definitely don't like that I'm trying to figure out why it's doing that try to smooth it over um yeah so I'm gonna start I think detailing out what I wanted to here um I'm gonna be switching back and forth between this and the Dremel. Um, so yeah.
come back into the eye. So I'm just going to continue to kind of fix stuff and make it look a little more better, or a little more better, a little more like him, and then um, I'll come back and show you how it is when it's finished. Alright, so I think I'm done. Um, here he is, Chadwick Boseman. Um, I went through and I added some details. I um, darkened up the uh, dark spots on there. Some of them were a little patchy. Um, like I said, I was going to do, I added some um, like texture around here. Um, yeah, I touched up a few places that I thought could have looked better. Um, I could do it for hours if I wanted to, but I had to shut my stuff off because it was taking forever. And I just always find stuff that's wrong with it. So here it is, the final thing. Um, if you enjoyed the video or liked it, um, leave a like. Um, I do these every day, so uh, yeah. Peace.